Welcome to Rad Dad Toolbox. I'm Roger. Today's episode is some pretty cool stuff. We're going to learn how to change our own oil, how to put the right product in it, which is synthetic oil, and how much better that is for your car, and how to do it all for one of these things right here. And i got a bunch of crap in my pocket, but one of those or less. And that's what's super cool about what we're going to talk about today. You know, a lot of times when you go to the dealer, they're trying to upsell you on air filters and oil filters and upgraded oil and all these things that cost a lot of money. And when they upgrade your oil, it's always synthetic. So we're going to be showing you the premier fluid to be putting in your car. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's a Honda, a Hyundai, a Kia, a BMW, a Lexus, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to show you today will apply to all those cars with some very small variations. And make sure, by the way, you watch for my future videos where I'll go specifically into BMW and Ford and some other cars to show you some of the nuances of how to change. But keep in mind, today I'm going to be changing oil in a 97 through 99 Chevy or GMC Yukon uh, Tahoe or the pickup truck, but it applies to virtually every car. Now, before we get started, number one, you're going to want to find your oil fill cap which on this car is right here. You want to locate that. Pop your hood, find where you're going to be filling the oil. You're also, number two, going to want to find where the drain plug's at and locate those. So go ahead and do those first. And by the way, if you like what you see today, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys. Hey, today I'm going to do an oil change on the uh, old snowplow. It's a 97 uh, GMC Yukon and uh, we're going to get started on it here in just a second. Here she is and uh, good shape mechanically, a little old, got some miles, but runs really good. So we're going to get this big old heavy plow up on some ramps and dig into an oil change. So here we go. Okay, we're going to be using these Rhino ramps. They are heavily used. You can see the dirt all over them. Probably need to wash them off. It is winter. Don't want them to freeze, but uh, we'll be putting them up on these uh, to give us the height we need to get underneath it with our crawler. Those Rhino ramps can actually take quite a bit of weight. So we're up on the ramps and we'll get ready to go here in just a minute. Okay, guys, here are the tools we'll be using today. I've got a lightweight Pittsburgh Creeper. Uh, it's got a padded... Uh, headrest there. You've got a place to put your ratchet and sockets, extensions, etc. Uh, also, we have paper towels. Always need paper towels. Keep things clean. Today we're going to be putting a full synthetic oil change on this old girl. And we're putting a high mileage full synthetic mix. Super tech. Uh, got this at Walmart. It's 10 weight 30. And we're adding a OEM factory AC Delco oil filter. This oil change will not cost any more than $19.87. That's right, a full synthetic oil change for $19.87. You cannot beat that anywhere. So it's best to do it yourself. If your time's worth something, if you'd like to know it's done right, if you'd like to know that it has great product and components when you do your oil change, this is the way to do it. We're also going to be using a hyper tough large car truck SUV quick fill funnel. Uh, we're going to use a, uh, I believe this is Hypertech as well, uh, oil filter wrench, 74 millimeter to 78 millimeter to remove the oil filter. I love these things, these blue nitrile gloves, keep your hands fairly clean anyway. And then of course we have a socket with an extension and a 15 millimeter to remove the drain plug. And then I like to use cardboard just around where we're draining the oil keep some of the splatters uh, contained. Today we're also going to be using a 23 quart oil drain pan. I've actually got, uh, let me think, seven and a half and five, 12 and a half quarts in there right now on some other oil changes I made. But uh, this, this is a great way to go. Keeps it really clean. I just started using this. I've been using just regular like bowl or pans and they get a little messy. This has been a great way to contain the used oil. You take out these two drain plugs right here and here and it just feels really really nice and then of course you can dump it right here so i'm going to get uh, my oil change coat on here and uh, be ready to go okay this is the tried and proven 5.7 liter vortec great motor these things will run forever if you take care of them we're going to go ahead and remove the top oil fill cap just so that that oil will completely drain allow some air in there and uh, drain completely out. 
Okay, I'm in my new, I think it's like a spider brand, really nice sweater my, my wife got me for Christmas. And uh, she'd kill me if she knew I was doing an oil change in this. So I'm going to go ahead and change into my oil change coat. Okay, here's my oil change coat, an old Carhartt feed jacket I've used in the past for feeding my cows. And if I get this dirty, no problem. Actually, it keeps my wife happy. So, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on and we will be going in. Scalper. Okay, we're ready to drain this oil. Let's get this drain plug, drain plug, I can't even talk. Broke loose. I really need my hands in there. Okay, I took that extension off. Let's see if we can get this loose. Okay, and here we go, got her loose. And she's ready to fly. There we go. We'll just let that drain out. It's nice and warm. Got it warmed up before we drain it. You always want to warm it. Gets every bit of oil out of the engine, which is what you want. Okay, we're just about done draining. We'll let it go for a couple seconds more here. We'll put in the drain plug and wipe up the drain plug area. All right, we don't want to, what I like to call kung fu that, but we just want to snug it down, not strip it. You pull too tight, you can strip out those threads on the oil pan, which is a major pain in the butt to try to get uh, fixed and rethreaded and or a new oil pan. So, uh, and rethreading is a nightmare actually, because you don't want any metal filings in there. So we'll wipe that up and we'll take the oil filter off here in just a second. All right, we're gonna take the filter out. And one thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just put a little piece, a little bit of grease just around that ring there so it really seats nice. Wanna make sure it's nice and dry and clean so you can tighten it up good. This is just another um, thing when you're changing your oil, you just wanna snug it down. You do not want to um, over tighten this. Just make sure it's snug. And this is what can when you get an oil filter in a really bad place. I wasn't able to use my oil filter wrench. I actually had to use a really gnarly piece of, or gnarly pair of pliers to grab it. And I absolutely shredded it. So anyway, that can happen when you get a real bad location, which I did. Okay, I'm back in my uh, nice spider sweater. At least I think it's nice. You guys may not, not fit me very good right here. Anyway, uh, I'm getting ready to do my favorite part and that's put the fresh clean oil back into the motor. Here we go. Okay, we'll put the cap back on. And then we'll start it to make sure the there's no oil leaks. Fire in the hole. Last and certainly not least, we want to write the miles, and in this case, miles ahead with the synthetic oil, and because it has the high mileage on it, uh, we're going to do it at 4,000 miles. So remember to put a sticker on there. Best thing you can ever do for your car to take care of it is put that fresh new honey, that fresh new oil in that engine, so that oil has always got viscosity, it's got strength and it doesn't have a lot of metal and carbon in it. So you let your oil go, that's what happens. But uh, there's the sticker, we stick it up in the window and away we go for another 4,000 miles. 
Hey, you guys know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button too if you would. It helps the algorithm with YouTube. And uh, just appreciate you following me. Have a great day. Thanks.